It's the February Roundup. I'm here with WHRO reporter Laura Fillion. Hi, Doug. Let's jump right in with student mental health. There's an ongoing study at Old Dominion researching the effects of meditation. Tell us a little about it. A joint effort between some ODU professors and the group Sky Campus Happiness will look at the benefits of meditation and breath work on students' mental health. And what do they hope to find? Well, we're only about halfway through the study right now, but I spoke to three students who said they're using what they've been learning in the program to improve their everyday mental health. One of them is nursing student Caitlin C. My mind is more at ease. I'm able to cope with things better. Student mental health is an increasingly pressing concern for colleges in the wake of COVID-19 lockdowns and extended isolation. Even though this crop of students wasn't in college during the pandemic, they still feel the effects. One of your reports this month was about the Nansaman Nation opening a clinic in Portsmouth. Tell me about it. Fishing Point Healthcare will serve as a primary care practice, not just for tribal members, but also Medicaid recipients and the uninsured. Under federal law, Indian Health Services or the tribes themselves can administer care to their population. Tribal Counselor and Fishing Point Board Chair David Darling said it's their mission to care for not just tribal members, but also other federal payees, like people with Medicaid. We absolutely feel like we have an obligation, right? (laughs) By taking our sovereignty and growing into this role that we're doing, we're now able to reach out and extend help to others. Another clinic had news this month as well. The Western Tidewater Free Clinic officially opened its 1,000-square-foot dental care expansion this week, adding two new dental exam chairs. It also added a new behavioral health room where telehealth services will be available to patients. The clinic serves the residents of Isle of Wight, Surrey, Sussex, and Southampton counties, and the cities of Suffolk and Franklin. To qualify for care at the clinic, patients must be uninsured and ineligible for Medicaid or VA benefits. You also reported on some health news from the Outer Banks, something about a new training program for medical students? The Outer Banks have faced a dwindling number of providers since the onset of COVID-19. Now, a partnership between Mantio's Healthcare Task Force and the North Carolina Medical Society may offer a solution. They're launching a preceptor or training program based in the Outer Banks. Franklin Walker is with the Medical Society. One of the best ways to secure the future for healthcare in Mantio or any other community will build a strong pipeline. The program will start with two trainees at Manteo Community Health Center locations in Manio, Ocracoke, and Englehart this fall. The hope is that creating connections between these students and the communities will attract them back once they finish their degrees. Finally, Centera announced its participation in a nationwide cancer study. Tell me more. Centera is part of a new partnership between the healthcare system and the National Cancer Institute. The study will collect data on multi-cancer detection tests, a new development in the field that many people hold hope for. Centera is one of eight groups nationwide collecting data for the study. And that's the Health Roundup for February. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Doug. Join us next month to hear more about the health stories from our area.